It rained most of the week while we were stuck in the marina waiting on the dinghy. We made the best of it though and really enjoyed ourselves. So our really cool neighbors, our fishermen neighbors over here, gave us some lobster tails. So I don't really know what I'm doing, but I've done a little bit of research and I'm gonna see how it goes. Megan had never even attempted to cook lobster before. She did an amazing job and they really tasted great. You guys. Wow. I think Maverick was a little annoyed we didn't share any lobster with him, so we made it up to him by giving him breakfast in bed and then taking him and his brother for a nice long walk on the beach. Even though the rain had stopped, there was still a pretty strong north wind. And you combine that with the outgoing tide, and those channels can get a little hairy. Since we're stuck here in Bimini at the marina waiting on a dinghy, since I lost mine. Hey! There's guard dogs. Mm -hmm. Hey, no, Goose, get over here! Hey, hey, no, Goose! Goose! Get on the dock. Sorry. Every minute. Get up there. You no, no, don't do that. Uh, as I was saying, uh, somebody broke the water pump. What? I'm kidding. It just, I don't know, the water pump was leaking. I can't find anything physically wrong with it. Some of the o rings were dirty and some of the valves were dirty, so I'm just cleaning that. I'm going to lube them up and put it back in. Hopefully it works. I don't know. With a little bit of Vaseline. That's right. We're still waiting on our dinghy here in Bimini. I can't say it's a terrible place to wait. I mean, just look at all this. It's pretty nice. But uh, the weather finally cleared. There was a nice mass exodus of boats this morning. Uh, for about three days, it was blowing 25 and had, uh, gosh, I mean, it was, uh, it was raining every day. <laughs> for those of you that say dogs can't enjoy themselves while out cruising, I don't know. This, this video makes them look pretty happy. <laughs> well, it's uh, boat cleaning and maintenance and people maintenance today on the rough sea. We got our handy dandy laundry going on. And then of course the rail is nothing but close. Hard at work. I mentioned it in the last episode, but the marina highly advises against swimming underneath the dock. There's so many sharks that just patrol the area. Oh, come here. Buddy. Come here, Goose. Good boy. Oh, no, the current's got him, please. Come here. I got you. Come here. Good boy. It's okay. I got you. <laughs> it's okay, Goose. You need my help? No. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to go over to the ladder with him. Okay, Goose. Hey, can you come swim? No, he's getting taken by the current. Hold on to. Where is he? He's underneath you. Come up on the platform? Yeah. Calm. 
Um, he, he had this look on his face like, this is it, I'm done. I don't even think he was really swimming, he was just floating. Yeah. Well, since Goose wanted to go swimming so bad, we decided to take him for a real swim, somewhere a little less sharky. Yep, the puppy dogs sure are chick magnets. We hung out with these guys for the afternoon and then met up with them later on that evening for a little bit of fun and night out. We were out past uh, past 11 tonight, and I got, oh my gosh, it's crazy. We could have gotten to a twerking contest. Right, she she didn't do it. No, I didn't want to embarrass anyone. Right, right, He would have. she would have put the uh, other girls to shame. Yeah. The next day, we took the ferry over to South Bimini and did a little exploring over there. So we found the Fountain of Youth. What do you think? Are you gonna drink it? You first. Good luck. Here you go, boys. Have some water. He's like, nah. Come on. Water. <laughs> I saw where you got that, Dad. Hey, they're drinking from the fountain of youth. Your turn. Well, I'm not drinking out of the same exact water. <laughs> it's cold, it's nice and cold though. We had people tell us yesterday that they drank from it a couple days ago. Tourists, that they drank from it a couple days ago and they were fine, so. Do you want me to do it? You want to do it, go right ahead. Uh, give me a cup. Use your hand. <sighs> It's actually pretty good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. What? What? <laughs> There's a plastic. No, no, no. No, it's plastic. It's a plastic penguin. Somebody's free trying to freak you out. Uh. I'm gonna put like a plastic penguin in there to make you think there's a dead bird in it. Oh, my God. Why? Don't scare me like that. That's all? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all it takes. <laughs> In all honesty, there was a plaque by the Bahamian government saying the water was monitored and watched after by them, so we felt pretty safe. We finally got word that our shipment was on its way, and we went to the airport to meet the dinghy. Megan might have been uh, pretty happy to see the dinghy, but I can't say that I blame her. It had been a while. We got the dinghy! We have the dinghy! <laughs> We're on our way back with the dinghy, so... Yay! Yeah. Happiness. Yeah. I don't think there's any TSA standards about uh, ferry travel in the Bahamas, but we were just happy to get the dinghy home. All right, so we have the dinghy back and we're about to put it together, but first things first, you're not allowed to put a dinghy net back together. We're out of cold beer and we're out. <laughs> so we are? I'm gonna go get, well, I think we are. I'm gonna go get cold beer and then we'll put it together. Ah, it's the dinghy! <laughs> It really didn't take all that long to put the dinghy back together, but it sure felt good to have our freedom again. How does it feel to be moving again? <laughs> it's great, actually. My legs aren't used to it really anymore, but, but I think we'll be okay. Ah, it's been, oh gosh. Guy, the guy in the water right there, I didn't even see him. Oh gosh. So we're going to the Sapona wreck. It's about four miles south of here. Uh, the weather's 
good enough to do that, but I really don't want to sail all the way to Nassau or Great, Great Harbor now. Tomorrow the weather's gonna be good. So we're just gonna go see the wreck and then go up north and, hang, and anchor out over there and then uh, head towards Nassau tomorrow. Yay! Ooh. Come here! <laughs> Thanks for all the suggestions about putting the netting around the lifeline. It really helped and the dogs felt so much more comfortable on deck. All right, we are out sailing again. Tell them where we are. What's it called? The Sapona. <laughs> An old concrete ship, but it's so ugly beautiful. So we're just going to wait here, have lunch. We're anchored for now. We're going to have lunch and then uh, wait for the sun to come out a little bit. And then we're going to do some snorkeling around in the wreck. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's been here for like 50 or 60 years. It's pretty cool. Megan was pretty psyched to go, but wasn't really feeling all that comfortable with our snorkeling skills yet. So decided to sit this one out and let me go it alone. While we didn't see as many fish and as much sea life as we thought we would, we were still glad we made the stop there. It was a really cool place to snorkel and uh, it was actually quite popular too. There were several other divers in the area. At some point in time, someone had placed a rope ladder to the top of the ship. So uh, why not climb it and jump off? survived it. <laughs> we finally headed north, but I can't begin to tell you how awesome it is to sail at six knots on the jib alone in calm seas. We'll check back with us next week. We sail over to Nassau and down to the Exumas. And thanks for watching, guys. And be sure to check us out on Patreon. Every little bit helps.